<laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, fellow humans out there, and maybe animals also watching a screen with you or something. <laughs> ah. I think we're pretty animalistic too, for the record. Mixed with alien. Why not? Wink. <laughs> um. I wanted to show you guys my first going to be art print ah! is dedicated to my my twin flame bro again and yeah <laughs> I'm gonna show you it right now. Alright you guys, um, there's a lot of rebirth symbols in here, but first I'd like to point out our eyes, I freaking love this part, <laughs> um, yeah I'm gonna pull it up in Photoshop, see, jumping around, this is like a lot. I touched up this portrait, um, do this 2009, and that's what the center is, let me pull up the current, once I find it somewhere, it's this one, see beeps, oh, um, yeah, Guess which eyes which. <laughs> um, pretty similar. Mm -hmm. I heard from S Doreen Virtue that souls, like, they had the same eyes, like, reincarnation wise, um, twin flame wise. Of course, there are things like e ETs with big black eyes sometimes that looks different than human, but <laughs> there's a thing going on right there. <laughs> um, that's it. So yeah, cat, I could give you a story like, um, like two years back, she texted me her dream. She told me, um, like she was bringing a cat back to life and she she asked me to help her interpret it and I look up cat and it just so happened to be a symbol for rebirth probably had to do with the nine life stuff but so um yeah there's like a lot of cats in here like I tried to make the portrait like cat like um some people might see a dog something else I don't know perception it's all good but she knew it was a cat when I showed her um there's also a cat right there you guys see it I like to think of this as like part of its hand <laughs> and there's one on the other side too it's cool um there's a lot of up in this. Well, um, this dragon, I had to bring him out. Like, it looked like an orange smudge. I'll show you an older, uh, version. See, it looked like this. But even, it, it was back before that. Here, I'll show you an old one. <laughs> um, I think this, this one's pretty old, but see, it used to be way smaller way smaller and it looks weird right here <laughs> um I I wanted to make it bigger see he he's like not smiling and it reminded me of a dragon and I'm like oh my god I should totally make this a dragon cause this looked like a face but I found that out later I think um it looks really weird right there <laughs> just winning that out not my preference. I had to do a lot of touching up on things. Um, 
But yeah, eventually from touching stuff up here, I'll show you, I'll try to find a one with all my layers. Is it this one? Here it's loading. <laughs> There's a lot of layers, that's probably why it's loading so long. Yes, yeah, see all these layers? There's a lot. <laughs> um, it's very convenient. Like I put some of them in folders so they could move around. Like ah, <laughs> change this stuff up. See this? Oh, my mom. She pointed this part out. She thought this looked like a fish in a fishing line. And these white lines are actually from this portrait. You know, like I duplicated a lot here I'll show you the background deeps ew <laughs> see why I did that it looks way better it reminds me of a caterpillar but I don't know why um see like I like layered them up a lot so there's like a lot of eyes behind there but yeah these whites were like parts that I didn't delete when I used the selection tool you know um, but, like, I felt like I didn't want to go back into every layer, you know? Just to try to figure out which white line is part of which. And I didn't want to merge them quite yet, that would have made it easier, but... <laughs> um, I ended up liking the effect, like, that it did. Like... I don't know. <laughs> this is really old. It's not as vibrant. But yeah, there's a lot, like, if you zoom in, like, this part, I'll zoom in. See, if you look at, this is the eyes, this is the mouth, don't look down here that much, <laughs> like this area, and then this is the shell, like, this is part of the shell, so it's like a turtle. Like, this looks like a turtle to me. And I also did owl wings down here. And there's, like, hearts popping up. It only showed up on one side. I forget which side. But I wanted us both to have hearts on our sleeves. Oh, I mean owl wings. <laughs> That's, like, expressing. Like, free to express, you know. Psychic told me that two years ago. Back when... I let fear hold myself back from expressing myself and whatever, you know? But yeah, there's like good stuff in that. And uh, this looks like an alien head. And it's kind of like Halo Jesus like, and that looks like something else too. That's supposed to be secret, but I wonder if you guys will figure it out. <laughs> it could look like a bunch of stuff. Um, this is like, this kind of looks like a seal head, but it's like a turtle, Halloween, that, um, comes up a lot throughout this whole Twin Flame stuff. I wrote a Facebook note about it, you could check it out in the description, but, yeah, basically, she was the owl, I was the turtle, but then, like, psychosis, shadow, acceptance stuff. We switched, but then we, like, I became the owl, she became the turtle, more quiet, you know? And then I figured the balance thing out. Twin flames are your mirror. They show you balance, they're there to show you balance. Like, the key, the balance is key. <laughs> um, yes. In order to, like, stick together, instead of going in opposite directions. Balance brings you together, peace stuff. It's like, um, way valuable in this human school <laughs> in general. It's good stuff. Um, but yeah, John. This is my dragon, John. Um, he showed himself to me in dreams of mine. He's my spirit guy, my main one. I wrote stories about him. I'll also link those Facebook notes down in the description if you want to check those out. But, <coughs> excuse me. 
Um, I want to show, like, I'll show you an older version. Um, let me see if I can find one. Would it be this? Okay, this is, like, older. Um, because his head's different. But this thing right here, when I was editing this, I was like, what the hell is this? It looked like an Easter egg behind him. And yeah, eggs symbolize her birth, but I didn't really like it. It was before this was <laughs> inserted. Um, later, like, I brought this out. I think it was, like, I had to bring it out, like, highlight it, like, to notice it. Get out. Um, I don't know why I did that. Is it still recording? Ten minutes, wow. Um, but yeah, it, like I noticed there's a bug, like, vibe. Like, this is the leg. And, uh, yeah, then I noticed the stinger. And that's an old, like, reoccurring dream symbol, bees. Um, way back before I was introduced to my spirit guides and all that, like, I used to rely on outside sources, like, turds and stuff. Those are still good, but, like, I used to interpret my dreams, like, with the online website called dreammoods.com, and, uh, I told my guys, like, I knew they were there, I just didn't know, like, they could talk to us, you know, like, I kind of underestimated myself like anyone can do it if you want it's worth developing it's good changed my life <laughs> um can you go away <laughs> um okay what was that? Bees. Yeah, go look that up on Dream Moves. It's like hard work, sweet results, honey stuff. I thought that was cool. Seven planets in Capricorn, by the way. Yeah, I thought that was cool, but hard work can be fun. Anyways. Yeah. There's like a turtle, owl wing. It's like a lion head right here. Another lion head over here. It's like a fishy thing. <laughs> and this kind of looks like there's a fist under this turtle head. But it's not like a violent fist. It's like lifting his head up. Like, lift your head up. Look positive stuff, you know. This looks very, like, still. <laughs> the stillness. Like. This is the eye closed, and it's kind of tribal-like with these markings on the face. And this looks like a baby thing. And if you take this bow away, this was a skull, but I wanted the bow right there. And, uh, this bow, like, this looks like her face, and this looks like mine when I have my Justin Bieber haircut, and as if my hair is coloring m covering my eyes right here. And, uh, the heart, so conveniently, was in the middle. And, um, I found this in a picture that I took from a camera together. Like a random picture at the mall. And, uh, I just found this little clipping area. I'm like, wow, that's too, like, convenient. Like, I didn't, like, paint over this with the brush tool or anything. Like, I just brought it out more. Like, with the dodge tool and stuff. And that's what I did behind us. Like, I mirrored it, and this tiger head thing, another tiger head. You guys might see the other stuff, but I, I saw this as an owl head. Like, here's the beak, here's the eyes, the little ear things. I don't know if those are ears or not. <laughs> and then this is the wing, like a giant wing, like your feather, 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 stretching out. And I saw a turtle over here. I don't know if zooming in will make it better, <laughs> but this is the eye, the red part's the eye, the black part's the pupil, the shape of the head, the turtle shell, 
like wing. It's like a it's cool. A lot of turtle stuff. Like I just it was convenient. Like this was all black behind us. It was just like this, this. And I didn't really like the bow because it wasn't as like poppy as like other stuff, you know? Especially that over there. <laughs> um But yeah, I just freaking dodge. That's that's the highlight tool. And I selected shadows instead of highlights. And like it brings out like the black parts a lot when you go over it and over it and over it. And I started seeing stuff popping out. And it's so convenient, it's like turtle owl again. <laughs> um I like arranging stuff. Like when I was a little kid I had like tons of zoo animals, like like jungle animals, you know? Like the Tarzan tree set. <laughs> All this different stuff. Um, but yeah, I like the arranging them, like setting them up. Like the monkeys get this area and all that. Like I divided the carnivores with the plant eaters and stuff. And there's a recurring story. Uh, that's a, another topic. But yeah, I liked arranging all the layers. And I used my heart when I did it. Like, I just felt like, oh, this goes here, this goes here, no, this moves, this needs to move a little more, like, you know, that stuff. Um, and, like, that's when I noticed symbols popping up. Like, these are a bunch of pictures put together. You saw the layers. <laughs> it just started, like, this volcano right here. Volcano. This is, like, a Capricorn head. A shadow, like... It could be an Aries or anything too. Ooh, but I think it's a Capricorn shadow. But Brogan said, <laughs> "What the heck? See, this is her eye. This it looks like a face. And so does this. But so conveniently, it just happened. She has an Aries moon. So like I saw this as the horn, the Aries horn." And this is like a Nirvana tongue sticking out. <laughs> um, and mine just having to form horns like a Capricorn and the, like the little beard Capricorn. And it looks like a mushroom too. And another turtle head thing. You can see a bunch of stuff. Imagination. There's the owl thing right here. <laughs> oh, and this flower. I took this picture of a flower in my backyard. It looks like it has eyes like a... Alice in Wonderland status and it's like shh like all still like kinda like a baby too kinda looks like it's sucking its thumb but uh whispering in the ears of like love I just heard spirit guides tell me that word or was that the oversoul spirit guides agree with the oversoul part. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, there's like another face right here. Oh, I'm gonna show you this. This looks like a caterpillar baby. If you count all this. Like, there's little pictures in it, like, that could be a cat face. But yeah, this is like, caterpillar baby with a butterfly wing. And there, there's a little heart right there. I think that was there. There's a duck. Um. Ta -da! All right. She got me this like two years ago out of a quarter machine. You know how random those things are, right? <laughs> um. She got two. One for me and one for my fr our friend Bree um but yeah 50-50 I got the black one <laughs> um <laughs> later after all this shadow stuff happened like I was like hey this could be a shadow duck 
and yeah I put a cape on it and this screenshot is from my twin flame one video like part one very first video I uploaded for this channel um yeah go see it if you want <laughs> Okay you guys, next I want to show you this area. Um, I noticed this part when Larry, Fuhrer, he uh, he told me a story about his head shape when he was born. It was like a raindrop shape, and this looks raindrop shape. I would like to do more research on that, <laughs> it's really interesting alien stuff. I thought my brother had an alien head when he was born. It's like elongated skull. And some humans actually have this. And back in ancient times, some Egyptian stuff, they put wooden planks or something on their heads to actually shape that way. Different stuff. So that's what I researched. Anyways. Um, other cultures probably involved too but uh this looks like a cat and there's like hearts there's a lot a lot of hearts in this this looks like a heart and this looks like a tarantula like spider like with these fangs but they gave there was a sinister metaphor like back to dream moods like I had the word sinister pop up long story short and the tarantula it had that sinister word in the interpretation so yeah but I think I could get that like understanding more fuller it's a development but there's like layers of it you know layers of understanding and st understand it more and then like something happens it's like Oh, I understand that at a whole nother level now, and that continues. <laughs> but uh, it's good. Like I don't like it lacks seriousness, and like I don't even know what that was referring to yet. It might have just been a perception thing, like that shadow dog story. It'll be in the description link. Um, the some reasons why Brogan's my twin flame Facebook note. I talk about that misinterpretation of the dream moods thingy. In that, like, I lacked using my heart, I guess, and I was totally in fear. And twin flames, like. I think, like, everyone's connected, everyone reflects you, the shadow self, what you resist persists, and it shows up in the outside world, and it's related to suspicions and paranoia, like, of what other people think of you, but, um, yeah. Like, since there's, like, a much thicker bond of connection, like, everything's connected, but Twin Flames, that's your other soul, like, uh, the other half of your soul, but you don't, like, you could, <sighs> explaining this, <laughs> like, you don't need your Twin Flame to become whole just because it's half and half, like, it's not like that, like, you guys could actually, um, Let's see. Keep each other company, even if you're not physically there. I mean, some twin flames aren't incarnated with you in this life, so... Yeah. It's not, like, a limitation just because there's a half word. <laughs> but, that's, that's crazy, like... You could appear to be opposite, complete opposite. But in real reality, like, it's not so strict like that. Like, it could just be a perception thing or a balance thing, you know? 
show each other balance balance in the center that's good stuff like instead of one person totally dreamy and the other one super um skeptical you know like come together feet on the ground head in the clouds like balance <laughs> um like I noticed when I shadow merged, I got more Aries traits, which I was not compatible with astrology wise. <laughs> I don't really believe in those incompatibilities in now, you know, with the not judging and like loving everyone. Like, it's self acceptance is the shadow self process, and that totally relates to accepting everyone else as well. Don't judge. Everything's perfect as is. Like, we're all here to learn. Unconditional love stuff. Ranting. <laughs> Rambling. I don't mean that with anger. <laughs> Rant. <laughs> um. But yeah. I'm so glad I'm not in fear of her anymore. It was an illusion. And I think I did it with her the most, you know, that's a common thing, like, your shadow appears to your twin, like, the most, like, out of everyone, the bond's thicker that way, like, I think it's because I felt most vulnerable with her, like, there was, like, tons of risk, but that was my illusion of it, you you, heart of stone, in a different perception. <laughs> I am not insincere. But living in the heart. Like. Fear closes the heart doors. You know. Ch chakra related. Closes the flow. Keeps it blocked. And I want to keep my heart open. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. Heart. Stone armor. <laughs> Stone armor, that's funny, huh? I'm not insincere. But anyways. This is like a moon head. With like a freaking torso. There's some past life images in there. Totally show up. And other ones too. <laughs> Kind of hinting. These are like flames. They have like frogs in them. Not supposed to pop out of you too much at first though. But I heard frogs was a symbol of healing. I like that a lot. These look like two faces kissing. <laughs> well, I will not touching the mouths yet though. <laughs> um, it took me a while to see this part. Like, it was black, like how I explained on here. Like, I had to do the dodge tool on the shadow part. And this face just freaking popped up. It looks like a tiger. Another tiger head in the center. What the hell? <laughs> and it has, like, an Indian vibe. India, you know? That kind of vibe with the hat. And there's some faces in there and heart stuff. And I like to see, is this is his body? Or her? I don't know. But these are the arms, like, little hands. And it could even be shown, like... I don't know, sometimes I see it in a lotus position, but I don't see where I could point that out. Maybe I just hallucinated that. <laughs> um... What else? There's a tiger head over here, so I guess not always in the center. But there's like other stuff in here too. It's like it's like a weird looking tiger head, so you could see like another animal right there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> there's like a being over here. It's kind of E.T. with the eye. I thought that part looked cool. There's like a bunch of eyes. Ladybug thing. But this is a volcano too. <laughs> I'm rambling. These these birds, they're popping up a lot. Um, 
um, the other art piece that I'm working on, it has this freaking same ass bird shape. I don't want to spoil it though, but I found that surprising, like, what the hell this is popping everywhere, and like, even the present that I gave her, the magazine clipping, like, I put it together, like, yesterday, no, it was either yesterday or two days ago, when I was touching it up with marker and stuff, but the magazine clipping that I cut out is freaking, looks like this freaking bird, but it's this color, but this freaking shape, but this way, not that way, this way. <laughs> and that's just popping everywhere now. Interesting. And the Blue Jay lyrics of... I'll link down the Flamer CD that I made her. Like, I totally made her, like, <laughs> a legit-looking CD. Like, cover and everything. Made it a game, but anyway. <laughs> um, there's, like, a Blue Jay thing in, um, the descriptions for one of the songs. Like, it kept popping up when I would try to improvise lyrics. Like, I would say Blue Jay, and I would be like, what the f- Why, why am I saying Blue Jay? <laughs> but, it might be an alien bird, too, that looks like a Blue Jay. I don't know, but I was drawn to Blue Jays growing up. So, there's more puzzle pieces to get there. <laughs> um, yeah, this looks like a- Everything, blah blah blah. I don't want to point everything out. This looks like a shadow dog and another dog over here, but this is more white wolf like. Oh, and there's an alien head right here, and this is like a India hat. I forgot what they call those right now, but yeah, it looks like these are the hands and the golden heart sideways. <laughs> what the heck? Um, yeah, I really like that eye right there. There's a heart in the tarantula. These things, they're the same. Up here to the little bits. Um. Oh yeah, this right here, when I was putting this together. This looked like a head, like a part of a face, you know, that's the eye. And this looked like a hand, like a rocker symbol. And a link you too. Here, I'll just, I'll, sh I'll show you. Facebook time. Ashley. Um. I held my album on this. They're like editing this, okay? <laughs> it looks different. This. This is my book preview, you guys. Go check it out. I wanted to give the main stuff away for free, but yeah, this. Okay, this looks like a joker head. Like, I had to learn how to laugh. So, like, seriousness stuff. But this is, like, freaking part of her. Like, if her... She's doing the devil sign, but pointing down, and there's a heart on it. Like, we're not gonna sell our souls. <laughs> If she gives me the business handshake, but that's like an individual thing. Like, I would have to ask her about it. You guys know about the selling of the soul stuff. YouTube. Music industry exposed. And there's like other stuff too. I don't want to get too into it. But I don't want to sell my spirit eye, my third eye my soul. I want to let it express freely the way it wants to. Lifting up the world. Not bringing it down. It's all good. Nothing against anyone. You know. It's all a game. But, yeah. So, this looks like a freaking goat kind of thigh. Like, thick. And it's like, if you're looking at the white, and she's kind of like, Tapping my head. <laughs> if I was bald. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> but, um. That's it. Okay, if you look at this black part, though. This looks like an Aries horn again. And this is the eye, eye, nose, beard. So, Aries. Aries shadow. This is her. 
this is another turtle owl thing. I did this intentionally. I got the idea when the caterpillar, I'll show you. Why the hell's Facebook being weird? caterpillar right here. I sent her a picture of it and she said like she found one of these the other day like when I texted her and I was like oh did you know twin flames synchronize like a lot <laughs> um yeah so that's what I was trying to make trying to make out of this like when I looked up close to it it looked like the pattern was kiwis so I did a bunch of transparentish kiwis in here and it ended up looking like a turtle so it has a caterpillar vibe with this part with the little legs but it's like turtle and I'm like she might as well do the owling thing too <laughs> so yeah that's my I heart logo logo I used to call it hard eye but then I'm like oh I get it I heart that's what you do when you follow the heart yeah I don't know, I didn't get that at first, it just felt right. And falling the heart surprises me a lot when it comes to that. Like, going downstairs, wanting to go out, your mom, like, my mom, like, wants to go somewhere, so I'm like, oh, I want to go for the ride, and then we end up, like, meeting someone there. Like, it's like right timing stuff. Like, just like a strong urge, like, I really want to do this. Not like hurting yourself stuff though, but yeah. This looks like a skull head. Like this is the eye, oh, nose, heart. He's smiling. It's kind of the like Grim Reaper like. <laughs> Rebirth stuff. This is like a cup of gold. There's a snake on this side. There's a skull over here. Alright you guys, um, peripheral wise, if you stare right here, right, right here, this thing off to the side looks like a tiger tail, instead of a skull. <laughs> that, that was cool. Oh, and if you look, like right here, this looks like a butterfly, like this is a wing, this is a wing, this is the middle part, and that's like the eye. There's another butterfly sign. <laughs> Metamorphosis. The voice reminds. This over here. I always dig Da Vinci's work. And like the fingers pointing up. <laughs> I always like. I watch some documentaries on him. He's really interesting. Doesn't seem like human like. He totally psychic or ET or something ascended huh that's what the voice just said Ooh, okay um I saw John pointing up but like I think I brought it out with these red lines or something or was it this part I think I highlighted this part to see the nail better and um I saw my hand right here and I just like smudged pointing up to mm -hmm. oh right here freaking I saw the freaking puddle of this shape this looks like a freaking weird ass turdy <laughs> turkey turtle like it's turkey collars these but it is like turtle shape with the shell and there's a like a freaking wing oh and here's another one a turtle head and a wing and uh... yeah Nothing noticeable 
I freaking saw a puddle of this same shape. This shape is like... I think I saw two different puzzles. One at Bree's house. Hey Bree. <laughs> Yesterday, when my twin flame was there. Hey Brogan. <laughs> and Donna. And Megan. And... Brittany. Did I say Jane? <laughs> All of us. And, um, the day before <laughs> at Trader Joe's is puddles. Um, she saw crab, which I also saw, but I didn't point out to her. But, yeah, she also has cancer rising. Opposite of Capricorn, isn't it? But that's cool. Like, I dig her traits. Like, I dig zodiac signs. They all have, like, good stuff. Like, like mine, like the more negative sides. Um, yeah, I got rid of those. I no longer suppress stuff in, you know. That made stuff harder. Saturn rules Capricorn as the planet of suppression, so had to release a lot. Like, get past those limitations and get onto the good stuff. Like, yeah, I think we choose them for a reason, but it's interesting. I saw some cappy things about, like, like Brogan. You can perceive it in any way, you know, but it kind of reminded me of, like, how I felt more Aries like. Like, I used to feel like I was so Capricorn that I had this planned stuff ahead and totally limited my spontaneous abilities like I thought I sucked at it <laughs> um but now I spontaneous quite a bit <laughs> I thought that was cool like balance <sighs> anyways Rogan this is for you I love you <laughs> And, um, that'd be great if you guys could, like, comment this video and stuff. And, yeah. Peace. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> May the force be with you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did that really scare you? <laughs> um. One more thing. <laughs> this right here is glowing for a reason. Alright, peace out. <laughs> oh, and Mario, thanks for the bow tie. <laughs> this is an actual picture of it. He's so cool. <laughs> okay, peace out for real this time. Or, should I say, peace in. <laughs> Cheers. It's green juice. Ah! Of organic plantness. <laughs> Go my, buy my art print. <laughs> please <laughs> oh, I love you guys though ah oh, thank you I never know again hmm.